Hi, this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant, and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. Hagen Avatar 4, Hedra, Google VO3 using the new frames to video feature, and ByteDance's new AI model, Seadance, through Dreaminar AI website. So which one do you like best? I'm gonna show you different workflows to create an avatar using different platforms because they all claim to do the same, but they do it very, differently and the first thing that we need to do is get an image okay so i use fal ai for this i use the image to image section and i use context and then you write what you want there's no need to overly complicate it we click more couple of images we want it to be 16 by 9 you would choose your aspect ratio and then run and the great thing about file AI is that it's a pay as you go and look these images costed me 0 0.04 dollars you know and i usually just top up with 10 dollars and it lasts me for quite some time i personally have an image that i already saved and it's this one. Now, the next thing to do is to come to 11 Labs and you create the voice that you want for your avatar. Very simple and straightforward. You literally prompt the voice that you want and 11 Labs will give you a number of options and that voice is gonna be reading this text that you can change and auto-generate and you can tweak the prompting until you get voice that you like and to create the voice that we're going to be using is very simple we come here we create or type a text or paste from a document that you might already have and then you search for the voice that you want in my case i already have one created here and i'm gonna see if it works with 11.3 yeah, okay it works with a new better model that 11 Labs has and then you just generate the speech and within a matter of a couple of seconds we're gonna have the speech created. Hi this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant and you are watching the difference between creating and Okay so that sounds good to me it's now as easy as download a WAV file there and the first platform that we're going to be using is called Hedra. It's becoming a growingly popular AI video generator. It's very well priced and again we do the same thing. We upload our uh, shot and then we do upload audio. So we go to downloads and it's the last file. There you go. So that's the video and you can prompt it to natural body movement and this is what we get hi this is celine sam's ai assistant and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms hagen avatar 4 hedra google vo3 using the new that's an issue that i have she looks away and i prompted for that not to happen and the annoying thing is that i created a couple of uh, or actually three renders and it does it all the time okay there you go it's somewhere here there so there must be something to do with the algorithm but the lip sync is really good and the body movement is is it's okay it's quite nice in a way it's kind of very um, dynamic so if you like that that this is great it's just that this looking away for me is not great the next one that we're going to be reviewing is called dreamina or sea dance as some people call it and this is by dance's flavor of ai and by dance are the makers or creators of tiktok and this is the platform that they have, and they have some really impressive results. I've been using it for a while. You can get some really cool results. They have AI image, they have AI video, but they also do AI avatar. And soon they're gonna be doing mimic motion, which I think that's gonna be really, really great. But for the AI avatar, you use the same process. You pick your image, that's the one. For audio, you have a 15 second limit. Another downside is that you cannot prompt anything. You need to let the engine do the magic. And this is what we get. Hi, this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant, and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. Look at the skin tones, okay? The skin tone starts nice, 
but look towards the end of the video. It's a totally different person. And I have a real problem with this. I ran a different test with Celine, but in an outdoors environment and the skin tones don't change. So I don't know whether there is a limitation of the program or not. There is no ability to prompt any of this. So obviously there is no way of me telling the engine, please keep the skin tones natural, no change or anything like that. So this is a bit of a downside of this, but the lip sync was perfect. Now I also used VO3, but in this case VO3 fast. Okay. Now Google has a very similar setup. You have no ability to import any audio. You have to actually prompt it and you have an eight second limit. It's not a lot. But this is the results that you get once you prompt it. You need to tell Google what you want to happen and then prompt what you want the AI avatar to say. So this is Google VO3's fast result. Hi, this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant, and you are watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. Hagen Avatar 4. There is no control over the voice. You just have to accept it. And she's got a very strong American accent, which may or may not be something that you want. You might not like the voice. So the way you go about this now is you upscale the file, okay, upscale it and download it back to 11 laps. And then you go to voice changer and here, drag your file, even the MP4, you drag it there. And then you tell 11 laps that you want to use you know, whichever voice you want. In my case, I have my voice, which is that one. And then you just generate the speech. And within a matter of seconds, it's going to convert the American accent voice to Celine's voice. So with this, you would then go into your editing program and upload this video and then swap the audio. Hi, this is Salim, Fram's AI assistant, and you are watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar. The animation looks good, the hair moves nice. It's a bit static, but I guess it's okay. Now, the next platform is Hagen, and this is, in my opinion, the best platform for this type of work, okay? Now, there are a number of different ways to do this, okay? Once you have your membership, because this is all paid, okay? You need to invest some money on this. The easiest and, in my opinion, best uh, quality is Avatar 4. You bring your file and then you bring the audio that you created. In my case, I already have it here. And then you press 1080p and then you hit generate video. Hi, this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant, and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. So as you can clearly see, everything looks good in this video from the first frame to the last frame. There is a consistency in the skin tone, nothing changes. The lip sync is good, the mouth animation, the eyebrows, everything looks very natural. Now, obviously you only get five minutes a month. So depending on how much content you need to do, you might have to use the traditional avatar creation. Now, Heijin is a platform that is changing constantly and they're adding new features. And one of the new features is this right side panel or widget. One of the options that it gives you is the fact that you can train Heijin to basically create a LoRa, which is basically a digital avatar that you can then create prompts without even having to describe it. So these are some of the images that I have generated recently. It does it all for you. Another thing that you can do is you can create uh, avatars or images based on predefined sets. I mean, I, I think I used this reporter pack and I got all of these images. And as you can clearly see, this is my avatar. It's just in different environments with different hairstyles and different lighting. Now let's imagine that you've created an image that you are happy with to animate. That's the AI photo. Okay. So that's a look that I like. And obviously you can bring up the lighting in your grading. There are a couple of things that you can do. You can either add motion as you saw early on. So that's motion added. 
Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. So obviously this is giving you some template to work from. And from this, you can then create your avatar, either portrait or landscape. Now there are, like I said, a number of restrictions with this technology. If you create an avatar from an image, okay, from here, you can create unlimited number of avatars, whatever account you have. If you go into AI motion and the upscaling, there are some limits, but let me show you the results. This is Celine, Sam's AI assistant, and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. And you can clearly see that it does the job. There is a little bit of uh, neck movement. The face is fairly static, but the lip sync is perfect, even though it does feel a little bit mechanical. Hi, this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant, and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. You see, this is a challenge now because the motion is a lot more natural. The eyebrows move nicely, the lips move much better. But look what happens here, okay? Look at this character, it's going forward and now it's going backwards and look at the car as well. Suddenly it's going backwards. It was going forward before and then it was going backwards. So I think the integration is not really 100%. Hi, this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant, and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. Look what happens on the bottom left. The animation becomes like a bit weird. They go forward, then they go backwards. I think this is a great tool, not so much for this type of shots where there is a lot of action going on in the background, but for these type of shots, studio based shots, avatar, talking heads, corporate videos. This is great. Now, let me show you the difference going back to the original shot. And remember what I said in a previous video that you do not want a smile. And this is why. Look at how unnatural it looks. Hi, this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant, and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. This is because if you create an avatar from an image where the person is smiling, Hagen thinks the smile is the position of the mouth when it's closed, and then it's going to recreate an even bigger smile on top of the original smile, and everything is going to look very unnatural. But look what happens when you use Avatar 4. Perfect. Hi, this is Celine, Sam's AI assistant and you're watching the difference between creating and animating an avatar using four different platforms. This technology is moving fast. And as a matter of fact, everything in this video is AI generated. Even myself, I'm using my own clone, which I have, but from actual videos. And by doing that, it creates my natural motion and body language so that it looks genuinely like me. This is, in my opinion, the best results. But if you want to create avatars from an image, this is also a very good choice. Definitely better than Hedra, Dreamina, or VO3, in my opinion, from an image. And in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to show you a different workflow for moving avatars with perfect lip sync. The results that you get are absolutely insane. And this is great if you want to do any type of social media content, influencer and UGC. The things that you can do these days with avatars is incredible. And as a matter of fact, I do have a course coming up about AI, avatar creation, whether it's for corporate and studio environment, as you see, in these videos using Heijin of more natural, realistic and moving avatars. So if this is something that you're interested, that you can see yourself using in your workflow for content that you use or for business, I'll leave a link in the video description. It will take you to a page where you can register your interest or buy the pre-sale, which is heavily discounted and at a rate that you are not going to find when the course is launched in a few weeks. 
and I literally walk you through it step by step in that course using different platforms so that you don't even need to do any thinking. It's all done for you. If you found this video helpful, if you got value from it, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I will see you in the next one.